इलेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of pi by sin x to the power of pi plus cos x to the power of pi dx okay directly we cannot do this problem unless we apply the properties of the definite integrals so one of the properties of definite integrals is integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx so that means if you substitute x for here pi by 2 minus x what do you get cos x to the power of phi this becomes cos x to the power of phi sin x to the power of phi If you add, you get one dx. So two i is equal to dx x. Then we easily we can integrate zero in between zero to pi by two. So let us do it now. Let i is equal to integral zero to pi by two sine x to the power of phi. By sin x to the power of phi plus cos x to the power of phi dx. Always remember, if the problem is sin x to the power of n by sin x to the power of n plus cos x to the power of n dx, or tan x to the power of n by tan x to the power of n plus cot x to the power of n, secant x to the power of n by secant x to the power of n plus cosecant to the power x to the power of n dx, this method has to be adopted. Okay, you remember the method. Say equation one. We know that integral zero to y f of x dx is equal to integral zero to y f of a minus x dx. So now the same we can write the i becomes now. Integral zero to pi by two sine pi by two minus x whole to the power of phi by sine pi by two minus x whole to the power of phi plus cos pi by two minus x whole to the power of phi dx. So sine nine. This is actually complementary angles. Sine ninety minus theta cos theta. We know this. We can write integral zero to pi by two cos x to the power of phi by sine x to the power of phi plus cos x to the power of phi dx. Say equation two. Just observe. Okay. Adding one and two. Adding one and two. So, if you add one and two, what do you get? Let us observe. I plus I two I left hand side. Right hand side is zero to pi by two. This is sine x to the power of phi by sine x to the power of phi plus cos x to the power of phi plus cos x to the power of phi. By sine x to the power of phi plus cos x to the power of phi dx we get. LCM is same. So this is integral zero to pi by two sine x to the power of phi plus cos x to the power of phi sine x to the power of phi plus cos x to the power of phi. dx this this gets cancel here one now what do we write here the 
this is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 dx this is equal to x 0 to pi by 2 this will be pi by 2 minus 0 so pi by 2 but i we have to find out ok so therefore 2 i is equal to pi by 2 what is i 2 into 2 4 pi by 4 so this is the required answer twelfth problem evaluate integral 0 to pi sin cube x cos cube x dx ok let us say i is equal to integral 0 to pi sin cube x and cos cube x dx. Since powers are odd here, we can apply one, one of the properties of definite integrals. Suppose, see you consider like this f of x is equal to sin x sin cube x cos cube x and f of pi minus x you find out that is sin of pi minus x whole cube cos of pi minus x whole cube sin 180 minus theta sin theta cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So, this will be you will be getting minus sin cube x and cos cube x. So, this is minus f of x. So, that means we have one formula integral 0 to 2a f of x dx is equal to 0 if f of 2a minus x is equal to 0. This we have one result. Same condition it follows. That is why this therefore, integral i becomes 0 this is the answer. Now, let us move to the next problem 13th. Evaluate integral 0 to pi by 4 sec theta power 4 d theta. So, these kind of problems actually known as reduction formulae in integrations also we have discussed a very clear manner, but power is very small directly we can do it secant square theta into secant square theta. We can write in terms of tan better you say tan theta is equal to t. So, that we can do this problem very simple manner. Okay. Let i equals to integral 0 to pi by 4 sec theta power 4 d theta. So, now this is integral 0 to pi by 4 secant square theta into secant square theta d theta. So, 0 to pi by 4 this secant square theta is 1 plus tan square theta into secant square theta d theta. So, now let us change as a algebraic function this one. So, let us do it. let tan theta is equal to t d t is equal to secant square theta d theta. 
this is 1 plus t square dt. So now substituting or oh sorry this is enough now the problem becomes i is equal now limits also changes lower limit here theta is equal to 0 now t becomes tan 0 is 0 now upper limit theta is equal to pi by 4 45 t is equal to tan pi by 4 tan 45 very interesting we get 1. Now, the problem can be modified like this i is equal to integral 0 to 1 as the problem is going to be changed in algebraic terms 1 plus t square into this is dt. So, this is t limits 0 to 1 this is t cube by 3 limit 0 to 1. This will be 1 minus 0, I am writing directly. So, 1 by 3 minus 0. So, 1 plus 1 by 3. So, answer is 4 by 3. That is the answer, that is only.